part tonight. Will you join us number 37 in your hymnals? Doing something a little dangerous tonight to try to teach a new song on the midweek time, right in the middle of a, maybe a wearying week. But I think what the song is talking about is totally worth us giving attention to tonight. Number 37 is a hymn called My Wonderful Lord. And it's a wonderful hymn just trying to express out of gratitude and thankfulness who our Lord is and what He means to us. And this song, if you're looking at it, that might look familiar, it might sound familiar. If you were here in the services Sunday night, I wanted to wait to teach this song until after you've already heard it. So the quartet Sunday night actually sang this song as the special, so uh, I'm hopeful that we're just going to jump right in with confidence tonight. Uh, but it's got some wonderful words. That first verse says, I found a deep peace that I never had known, and a joy this world could not afford. Since I yielded control of my body and soul to my wonderful, wonderful Lord. Now I want to look at the chorus. Now sometimes we're going to sing hymns that might use some words that need some explanation. We have a hymn that we uh, sing that talks about raising our Ebenezer, and that might not be a typical phrase you use on a day-to-day -day basis in the workplace. <laughs> so this particular one also uses a word that we might have a different connotation to, and I wanted just to give a word of explanation. The chorus is talking about, my wonderful Lord, by angels and seraphs in heaven adored, I bow at thy shrine, my Savior divine. And that word we would probably attach, most of us, to referring to an object. And that's one of the definitions of the word. But another definition is a consecrated place or a structure. And how this hymn is using it is referring to an altar or to a sanctuary. And so don't worry, we are not singing about bowing at an object, okay? But that is worth exp explaining a little bit just so that there's no confusion. But it's actually referring to an altar and in a church building, a sanctuary, a, a holy place, something that's dedicated, set apart for the Lord. That is one of the definitions, but probably not a word we use often that way. So I think that that's worth explaining so that there's no confusion and we're clear on what we're communicating tonight as we're singing. So we're going to have the Heartland Choir sing that first verse for us. And I want you to listen and follow along. This worked out very well last time. That's why I'm doing it again. And then we'll join in again on that first verse all together. So it begins, I found a deep peace. You listen as the Heartland Choir sings, and then we'll all join together on that first verse. We'll repeat it and go back and sing all the verses tonight. Brother Kevin? that before? Yeah, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. We did just hear that. Okay, so let's sing it out on that first verse. I have found a deep peace in who? In my wonderful Lord. Let's lift it up together tonight on that first verse. We'll learn it as we go. Here we go together now. I have found a deep peace that I never had known and a joy this world could
quickly. We don't want to ever get too predictable, but could you go back on that third verse with me and just look at the words one more time before we leave this great hymn. So number 37, if you're finding your place again, this is worthy of our attention and to sing from the heart. We're learning a song, so that's always a little difficult to do all those things at once, but I just would like to give one more effort on that third verse in particular. Will you look at that with me? All the talents I have, I have laid at thy feet. Now we shouldn't just sing words that we aren't we aren't singing from a heart that believes them or that it's true. So this is a good heart check for us. Have I laid my talents all at his feet? That's what he wants. That's what he's worthy of. Thy approval shall be my reward. Be my store, great or small, I surrender it all to my wonderful Lord. Let's sing that third verse from the heart to him. He is our audience tonight. Let's sing it out on that third verse all together now. All the talents I have, I have laid at thy feet. Thy approval shall be my reward. Be my sword, red or small, I surrender it all to my wonderful, wonderful Lord. Amen. Sing it now. singing tonight. Please remain standing for the